What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and today I would just like to apologize for the long time of me not uploading anything for a while. Um, it's only because I've been super busy with my job. I've been super busy with uh, playing the Xbox One S, and I've been watching a lot of IGN podcasts like Beyond Unlocked and uh, Nintendo Voice Chat. I watch them a lot. I like all of them. They're really, really good. They're It's like interesting to see them all talk about video games, so I like it a lot. I recommend all of you to go subscribe to them. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, links that I would have to include in the description, so um, all I guess I can recommend is that if you go to my channel, on the side it should be... Uh, you should be able to see my subscriptions and what I'm subscribed to, and you should be able to find it. And if not, you can just search up Unlocked. Um, they do podcasts for IGN. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. And they do podcasts for Xbox. Uh, Beyond does podcasts for PlayStation stuff. And Nintendo Voice Chat, of course, does Nintendo uh, coverage. So they're all great. They all do a good, fantastic job. I recommend you go watch them. Anyway, so today's article has to do with the Xbox One S. So, I want to talk about something here that is interesting. In my city, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the Xbox One S is completely, completely sold out. We have no more anywhere for the 2 terabyte version. That's the only version available. Well, unfortunately, for people who are waiting for more uh, restocks from Microsoft, guess what? Unfortunately, Microsoft has confirmed with Eurogamer um, that it will not be manufacturing further units of the 2 terabyte version and that the only similarly sized version to be released is the Red Gears of War Limited Edition due to start shipping in mid-September. So, yeah. Um, also, it's been confirmed that the Xbox One S uh, will be coming um, on August 23rd. Uh, 500 gigabyte and 1 terabyte versions of the Xbox One S will be coming. Um, on August 23rd, um, those console versions will come um, with Halo 5 and Halo the Master Chief Collection with it as a download code. So for you guys who are interested in Halo and you want to buy the new Xbox One S, these are perfect bundles for you. Um, they will be respectively for the 500 gigabyte will be priced at $299 in the U.S., $399 in Canada. Um, the one terabyte version will be priced at uh, $350 in uh, the U.S. And in Canada, it will be priced at $450. So, yeah, uh, I just want to talk about how it's not necessarily a good thing that the uh, white Xbox One 2 terabyte uh, Xbox One S is not coming back as a restock. It's kind of a shame, but hey, what can you do? Anyway, so let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about Microsoft not restocking the Xbox One S? Are you guys disappointed? Are you guys going to buy the 500GB or the 1TB edition? Or do, are you just upset because you really wanted to get the 2TB? Anyway, be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.